So, one of my very first guitars um, was a thing called a lawsuit, even as Flying V, which where the Japanese company made a replica of a Gibson guitar, which they managed to do for just a few years, and then they got sued and then they had to stop. So, around 76, my father bought me this guitar. It's a medallion Flying V, and it has a little medallion there that usually says Gibson, in this case Ibanez. My dad turned it around and dedicated the guitar to me from him to me, and I played this in my band Moonstone every single night. I love this guitar. Move forward a few years, not many, I think around about 78, 79, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd came out. And I heard Shine On You, Crazy Diamond. And that's when I fell in love with the Fender Strat. The Fender Strat, in, uh, there's certain positions on the guitar with the pickups, but between uh, two and three, you used to wedge it in between and get this beautiful guitar sound, which is the Dave Gilmore guitar sound. It was a black Fender Strat with a maple neck. I went down to the Fender Sound House, bought it brand new for 199 pounds. But to do so, I sold this guitar. My father's not with us anymore, and he died about 25 years ago. And the guitar was gone and lost. Then someone in Scotland was cleaning up this guitar and turned around the medallion and said, presented to John Payne from John Payne Senior. And he goes, I think I've heard of this guy, John Payne. Is it the same guy? So I got an email through a friend of a friend saying, I think I've got your old guitar. Is this yours? And on the case, it says Moonstone. And then this guitar was there. And I went, I want it back. This is 40 years later, or 39 years later. So I said to the guy, it was a Sunday, contact you on Monday, ship it from Scotland. I was living in uh, Burbank in California at the time. And contacted him again on Monday, he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I sold it. I needed the cash, I went, oh no. So I was lost. Forward two more years, and the guy called me up and goes, well, I found out where the guitar went. It went to a guy who was working on a cruise line out of Sweden, uh, but he fell out with his wife, and his wife put it in a pawn store in Glasgow. Do you want me to get it for you? Yes, Bindi. That was the cat speaking, by the way. He knows this story too well. So I said, get it for me, don't care what it costs, and send it to me. He goes and picks it up, I send him the money. It was almost 40 years to the day I got the guitar back. It had been everywhere. It had been with a band called Steeler in California. It had been in Europe, it had been in England, it had been in Scotland. And there she is. It means so much to me. 40 years later, I get this guitar. A lawsuit, 1976, Ibanez Flying V with a mahogany body.